Welcome to Quill Sword Blogcast. Before I get into this, let me specify that the links I mention are in the blog on the website on quillsword.net. So those links do exist. You are more than welcome to check them out. COVID-19, Time for Truth, U.S. Edition. Below, you will find a link to a fairly dry little video of a doctor going over the latest research out of Italy. I fully agree with him that it's pathetic that we have to wait for Italy to do what every developed nation should have been doing, most especially the U.S. Here's the TLDR. Vitamin D is shown to reduce hospitalization and incidence of death. In normal people speak, Vitamin D helps you fight off C-19 so that you don't get as sick and you don't have as bad an outcome as you would have otherwise. Just exactly what many doctors were aiming for when they started their patients on vitamin D back in 2020. Did they know? No, of course not. But they did know that building up a person's immune system had an extremely good chance of helping them not get as sick or even not getting sick at all. Vitamin D is sold over the counter. That means that it has few major side effects and is well tolerated. That doctor speak for can be taken by most people. Translation. In early 2020, doctors didn't know vitamin D would necessarily help, but they did know it might and it was extremely unlikely to hurt. So what happened? They were told to shut up and sit down. The lamestream media attacked any treatment of any kind, no matter how benign. Social media outlets attacked, like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and many others, actively censored any discussion by any physician that didn't follow what the WHO was saying even after the WHO changed its mind. When the, insert extremely bad words here, did the more bad words legacy media become doctors? How the devil would the same morons that can't get their reporting of the local Rotary Club right know what is medically correct or incorrect? Bill Gates is suddenly an expert on vaccines? YouTube knows more about what is medical misinformation than the guys with MD behind their names? Since, very, very bad words, when? I'll tell you, since never. The AP, which is where the lazy stream media gets all its information, wouldn't know a petri dish from a pasta dish, let alone what the heck a drug formulary is. We can safely forget any notion that the Moron Incorporated bunch knew how to use a drug formulary. But the doctors did. They knew what classes of drugs had the best shot of helping their patients when there were no hard answers. They knew how to decide if a particular patient should try a specific drug and how to explain exactly what they were doing and the risk involved to that patient. This is what doctors train to do. This is what the media, big tech, and the stupid governments fail to let them do. Just failing to get out of the way would have been bad enough. But that bunch did much worse. The government, the media, and the tech companies got directly in the way of doctors caring for their patients and providing the desperately needed information that could help save lives. This is not okay. Nor should it just go away. No amnesty, no immunity. It's time for full investigations into what Big Tech did and who it was working with. Investigate why the media was so determined to denounce every single attempt to treat COVID-19 with anything that didn't have a multi-billion dollar research price tag attached. And this isn't one side of the aisle either. There were top Republicans advising President Trump in ways that need serious classification, clarification rather, and more to the point, serious investigation. The Republican elitism may well have empowered Democrat overreach. We need to know. 
We demand to know. The same Congress that could impeach Trump twice can, insert even more bad words here, very well set up congressional investigations of the entire COVID-19 debacle. Now. I started by saying vitamin D, talking about vitamin D, and not the multitude of suspicious deaths. That's only because one is pretty solidly proven and the other needs major investigation. It's also because we might, might, have been better able to intervene if the media had shut its trap and let doctors tell each other what they were seeing. Many doctors were reporting good results with vitamin D. No, that's not scientific proof. And at the beginning, when it might have helped, there was no way to get that proof except to let the doctors try and document their attempts. Crunching through all that data is what we actually pay the CDC to do, not to make medical recommendations without proof. The CDC playing politics likely made everything much worse than it had to be. The data exists. It's past time it was subpoenaed, investigated, and released. What the CDC knew and when. Why were they making such unprecedented recommendations? We own that data. We pay the CDC salaries, and they have no right to withhold that information from us or our representatives. Would vitamin D have saved lives? Probably. Building up the immune system is part of prevention. This is Disease Control 101. The CDC knew it. Now so do you.